Okay, so in this lesson, you are going to be learning how to keep an egg in a car safe with this design challenge. You are an engineer for this project, and you will be solving a problem. Engineers are creative problem solvers. They work in teams, and they don't give up. So remember this as you go through the design. And you will be going through the engineering design process. So your group will be um, able to solve the problem as you go through the process. And in, in this step, you will be going through ask, research, plan, build, test, and share. First, you need to know about criteria. A criteria is a guideline for a design project. Your group is required to meet criterions to complete the challenge. Next, you need to know what a constraint is. A constraint is a limitation or restriction. Time and resources are very common, and your group will have to adhere to the constraints for the project. So what exactly is the problem? Well, you're currently a mechanical engineer working for a car company. You need to create a special restraint system for a vehicle that does not have a roof. You may design the vehicle or you may use a toy vehicle to portray a real car. And your passenger is going to be a raw egg. Yep, you heard it. As you remember from the restraint system article, seat belts save lives. So you need to create a restraint system that keeps your passenger egg safe. For your design criterion, your egg is placed in a car without a roof and travels down a ramp. The egg must be protected with a restraint system. The egg must not break or have any cracks. So those are your criterions. So what is your constraint? Yours might be different depending on what your teacher says, but you will have 30 minutes to build your design. You can use up to seven materials and you cannot use tape or any adhesives. So that's glue or hot glue. Now you are going to be going through the ask step. In this step, you will individually write down what the problem is you are trying to solve. How will you accomplish it and be successful in this project? For the research step. In this research step, you will think about what you've learned and do more research on the internet. What do you know about speed, weight, energy transfer, and energy in general? What other ideas have people built and shared online? Once you have your ideas kind of in your head, you'll go into the plan step. And in this step, your group mates will each share their ideas. You will, as a group, choose which idea most fits the design challenge. Once you decide, you get to make a sketch of what the final product should look like. What materials will you need? What will the steps of building be? Once you have all that in place, go ahead and start building. In this step, you will have jobs in your group and you will partake in building your design as a group. Here is the fun step test. In this step, your group will test the design that is built. You will have observations, you will record the responses, and you will also be um, having reflections after testing. For the final step, you will be doing the share. This is when your group will prepare a presentation on how your group went through the de design process to complete the challenge. So some of the questions that you might need to answer are, what could be improved and what design decisions were effective? Finally, for your assessment, you will be graded based on a rubric, how well your group worked together, how well your group could explain the steps of the engineering design process in the challenge, and how complete the reflections were. Best of luck!